So all I have to do is make sure this robot here stays safe until she can start up. Yep, I'll be on a business trip, so I can't do that right now. Since you're really my only friend, and since she needs to be booted up today, you're in charge. Alrighty then. And here's the instruction manual, just in case. And remember, if some wild wax shenanigans happen, make a good story out of it. Got it, now you can go on your- You know, I kinda wonder how we can make a living out of this. Just altering people and things around this area for cash. Oh yeah. What you got there? Well, I'm just supposed to watch this robot specifically until it can start itself up. What are you doing? I'm just bored. You wanna check out whatever else is in this lab? That would end in tragedy, and we both know that. Fair enough. Still bored, though. Starting up. Starting up. Would you look at that? Well-timed. Hey, Ross, would you mind turning me on? Let me look at the instruction manual here. How to turn you on. Hmm. Well, that was no help. All I got was an ad for Linguini's Posit Shop and a demeaning comment about how I should have known already how to do this. Tough luck, but don't worry. I can help you. Well then, let's do it. First, you lift up my hair. There will be a control panel there. Uh, okay. Very good. Now you just slide the slider thing fully to the right. Uh, like that? Affirmative. Thanks, dear. No problem, Nikki. What's that supposed to do? Okay. Appreciate it. Probably should have introduced him. <laughs> this is my friend, Chubb. I've known him for a long time. He means no harm. Okay, dear. He better- Yes, ma'am. So, anyway, what do you two want to do? Well, personally- Let's go for a nature walk all around town. That way, I can analyze it from my memory banks. <laughs> of course. Good. Now let's go, dears. Well, something happened, and I don't know what to say about it. Ten minutes later. This view is so gorgeous. I could look at it forever and still not want to look away. Yeah. And it's kind of fun, too. With that being said, I bet we're both thirsty. I'll be right back with the drinks. Okay, Yan. Hey, I think I recognize them. Eh, whatever, they seem busy. Well, your town is so nice. Lucky I get to be living near here. Yep, analysis almost done yet? Of course. Just have to rest here and process all of my data. Take your time, we're in no rush. Thanks. I've just won't had it with that metal junk treating me like trash. There must be something wrong with it. Chubb, don't you dare mess with that. It could malfunction, Chubb. Oh yeah? And what's Taco gonna do about it if it does? He said that if any wild wax shenanigans ensue, to at least make a, a good story out of it. But that's not gonna happen, right? No, it won't, Nikki. I knew you would say that. Now let's go home. Okay. Huh, didn't see you there. How's it going, Ross? Oh, hi, Annie. I'm fine. How's your other career coming? Well, it's actually going great. Well, I should have let you get back to your ledger now. See you next week. Ooh, what it must have- You better not be neglecting me, are you? Oh, shucking up. You said something? I sent the sucking up ball brain. Say one more thing and your head's gonna be in your- Oh yeah, let you do that when you're in the junkyard. Actually, I think you belong in the junkyard. And also, don't call me ball brain. Hey, hey, let's be smart and put this off. You're kidding, right? Didn't you witness what he said and did to me? Well, did you witness what you said and did to him? Look, I don't like that we're using violence to solve this. You two can hate each other, but we can't try and hurt each other to this degree. I don't think I'm asking for much when I ask you two to calm down and consider everyone around you. No. 
Ooh, my head. Where are those instructions again? I know, Ross must have left them in the lab or something. Oh, I have no time for this. I'm just gonna slip by you real quick, thank. Not my time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you thought you could get me with. Finally, you know I've been wanting to rip your paper face down the middle. This'll be fun. Huh, who has the nerve to throw a monkey wrench at me? I do. Exactly. Also, don't look now, but your victim ran off. Is this some kind of way? What? Neither of you will see the light of day again. Now, so our little birdie. Oh, my head. Come on, Yanny. We don't have much time. Oh, those instructions must be somewhere. We better find them quick. She's coming. Found them. Now all we need to do to turn her off is to say the magic words. And the magic words are? Here's the key. The magic words are... Any less words? There's been a power outage. Get to sleep already. Power off. There. Come on, Yan. I'm behind you. Finally. Peace and quiet. I'm back from my business trip. What did I miss? Oh, nothing. Just your stupid killer robot ruining everything, and- Before you continue, who even are you? That's my friend, and he's right. Your robot went nuts, no pun intended. She knocked me unconscious, she burst down your door, she disrupted our whole town, and she tried killing both me and Yanny. There's your stupid story. You happy now? Yup, cause that's what I was looking for. Excuse me, what? What can I say? I just like chaos, isn't that right, Nikki? You got that right. The classic substitute trick gets them every time. Was anyone else in on this? Nope. <laughs> Get out of my life. Yeah, jerk.